vlog. I hope you're really, really well. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am starting a new feature called Fabric Focus. So it's where I'm going to talk to you about a specific fabric type and give you some fashion inspiration, some pattern ideas, show you some of my favourites from the shop, show you some of the customer makes that we've had in that type of fabric and also answer some of your questions about that. So this week is going to be all about stretch cotton and I did this on Instagram a few weeks ago, it went down really really well, I had loads of feedback that people loved it and I'm going to try and do it on all sorts of different fabric types over the next few months so do let me know down below if you find it useful and if there are other fabrics you would like me to do it for. So before we get started I'll show you what I'm wearing, I am wearing a Telly in the Buttons Etta dress, let me just lower the camera. So this is my Etta dress, this is in a stretch cotton sateen and I don't wear it that much because it's a little bit big so I just need to take it in a little bit and then I think I'll get more wear out of it but I've only worn it twice this summer. I wore it to a friend's wedding last year which is um, maybe even two years ago time flies it was two years ago um and yeah i absolutely love it this is one of my all-time favorite fabrics um but i just like the shape of the etta um i've done the short sleeves um nice and fitted and works really really well really really well in a stretch cotton so stretch cotton is a traditional woven fabric it is made predominantly from cotton which is as we know a natural fiber grown all over the world it's woven in the traditional way with a warp and a weft thread or a horizontal and a vertical thread and if you have cotton that is non-stretch uh, so like a poplin or a lawn this is a poplin you'll see that there's no stretch in that there might be the tiniest little bit of give if you pull it slightly on the bias but there's no movement in that when you have a stretch cotton there is um, another fibre woven in with the cotton and that is elastane sometimes called spandex that's a brand name um, or maybe even a bit of lycra again that's a brand name but it is as it sounds elastane elastic so um, with a stretch cotton you'll find that it's normally about 97 to 98% cotton and then you've got two or three percent of that elastane in there and that just gives it that bit of movement. So can you see that we've got our stable woven cotton? It's nice and structured. It's got um, a, a nice drape to it still, but it's definitely crisp and um, on the kind of medium weight end. And then when you pull it, you've got that little bit of wiggle room. Bit more movement and that's from the elastane and that's what stretch cotton is sometimes you'll find that you get different finishes so stretch cotton um, you can also see uh, stretch cotton sateen and that's just about how the fibers are woven so if it's woven with a sateen finish that's a sateen weave and it just means that there's an ever so slight almost like sheen I don't like the word sheen because that makes people think it sounds shiny um, but it's not it's just about that having a slightly smoother finish to the weave so you might see stretch cotton or stretch cotton sateen and sometimes people don't label stretch cotton sateens as sateens all the time um, I think often because it, it can be um, misunderstood and people think it's a satin but it's not so that's what stretch cotton is it's one of my favourite fabrics to work with because it's still really nice and stable, it does as it's told when you're sewing with it, it presses really nicely, but you've got that little bit of movement. So for example, if I show you uh, the Etta dress that I'm wearing again, if I stand back, so this is a little bit big as I say, however, if I tighten it up a little bit, you'll see I can still, even with it really fitted, I can still give it a little pull because it will move with me. The elastane or the spandex um, will give it that little bit of stretch to make it a bit more comfortable. So I've taken a couple of ideas from the high street of things that look really good in stretch cottons. It's predominantly things like dresses, uh, dresses that you need to hold a particular shape. So maybe a fit and flare dress, maybe something more like a wiggle dress like this one. Um, also trousers, 
trousers look fantastic in stretch cotton. And because it's medium weight, they do really well as trousers. And the other great thing about stretch cottons is that they often come with lots of patterns and prints on, uh, sometimes more on the subtle side and sometimes more bright and bold, like these ones. So I picked out a couple of my favourites to show you. So this one uh, is Fifi. It's not dissimilar with the roses to the one that I'm wearing, although obviously a different size scale, um, but really lovely with the black background as well. Um, then this one that is called Flowering Blooms, for obvious reasons, is really lovely. A little bit more subtle, but still with the floral. A nice jet black background. And this has the sateen finish, which hopefully let the camera focus in. You can see it's just got that really nice smooth sheen to it. Um, not shiny at all. Really, really nice. And you can see that movement. So stretch cotton normally has between 10 and 20% stretch. And it's called mechanical stretch as opposed to stretch that you would get from a jersey or knit fabric. And that's because rather than the stretch coming naturally, through the weave, which is what happens with jersey or knit fabrics, the stretch has been added in mechanically um, by uh, adding the elastane to the fibres. Also really love this one, which is Daisy Dreams. I just think the scale of the print on this, as you can tell, I love a big bold print, is beautiful and the colours are really, really lovely, perfect for autumn, winter. Um, I think I might actually just make the same dress one size smaller in this fabric because I love it. And then the other one, keeping on the kind of tropical, more green colorways, is uh, this one. This is called Tropical Bouquet. If I hold that up, you can see all those beautiful pinks and reds, but also with the green and the black background. So I think it's just really nice when we're coming into autumn winter to have a bit of color still. So I like things with dark backgrounds because it means that I can pair them with tights, but I don't want to just be head to toe in black or navy because for me, um, it's not very cheery <laughs> and like today. I wasn't really feeling like wearing bright pink um, and actually if I'd had my way I would have been wearing jeans and an oversized big grey baggy jumper but I put this on because I needed to film the video and actually I have felt much cheerier um, since I put it on because colour yeah, really makes me happy. So those are a couple of my picks from the shop, the daisies, the tropical bouquet, I think this one is my number one. We've got um, a little bit more of the babushka cotton print that you guys loved from my last video. I'll pop that up here. Um, that's just come back in. Unfortunately the Hermosa Rose, the one with the pin-ups and the snakes on, has completely sold out and because it's an ex-retail fabric, um, once the supplier has sold out, we can't get any more, that's it. Um, but I will keep my eyes peeled because sometimes they do um, pop up with other suppliers, but for now I'm afraid that one's gone. But we do have lots of others, the ones that I've shown you and some more, and I'll link to them all down below. So next I want to share some of the amazing customer makes that you guys have sent us pictures of um, in our stretch cottons. So these are from the last 18 months or so so not all the fabrics will be in stock anymore but I hope it will give you a really good idea of the type of things that you can make um, with stretch cottons. So first up we've got Kathy in her beautiful stretch cotton uh, avid seamstress day dress. I will link everyone's, I'll pop everyone's um, Instagram handles up here so if you're on Instagram you can check out these lovely customers and the rest of their beautiful makes. Um, so we've got Kathy from So Dainty and her beautiful dress which I love. Um, we've also got Jennifer in her gorgeous pencil skirt and stretch cotton sews up fantastically in pencil skirts as you'll also be able to see from Samantha's um, pencil skirt in one of our other patterned stretch cottons. Um, we then got Bex, uh, Rebecca in her lovely ultimate trousers in the lemon stretch cottons 
stretch cotton and they look absolutely fantastic. I mentioned earlier that it sews up beautifully for trousers. It also sews up beautifully for dresses, so it works well for both fitted dresses, like a pencil style wiggle dress, um, like this beautiful one. Um, also works up beautifully as something like a fit and flare dress, where the structure of the skirt is held by the weight of the fabric, but also the nice fitted bodice um, is nice and comfortable. <laughs> nice and comfortable because you've got that wiggle room in there so I really love those and do check out the um, links as I've said because all of them have loads of other beautiful makes that they can share with you um, and last but not least I'll also pop a picture up of um, Barbara who is one of our teachers here she has also made a really lovely dress and she's made a pinafore style dress out of it which again works really well because the stretch cotton holds the shape and I think she looks absolutely fab so the final part of the video is where I'm going to answer your questions about stretch cottons. So I popped it out on Instagram a little while ago and you had loads of questions so I'm going to try my best to work through them and then hopefully I can share the answers with all of you guys on here as well and you'll find that really useful. So uh, first question is how stretchy is it? I'm on the fuller side of a skinny figure and always like a little give. Well, I understand that. Um, so stretch cotton is a woven cotton, as I've said, and it normally has between 10 and 20% stretch. Um, so you can always check on, if you're buying online, they'll often mention the stretch percentage, or you could always email and ask. If your pattern calls for a medium weight stretch cotton, then you'll be fine with a stretch cotton. But if it says that you specifically need a uh, certain stretch percentage, then definitely check. Do I use it the same as any woven fabric or do I need to adjust the pattern? That's a really great question. So treat it like you would any woven fabric, but be aware that because of the elastane, it will stretch out a little bit over time. So I would always baste fit. Um, so when you're sewing, say your dress for example, I would baste in your side seams before you sew them properly so that you can check um, because you might find that you just need to take in a little bit more than you would in a 100% cotton fabric or a fabric without any stretch. Is it suitable for patterns looking for medium to heavyweight, like the By Hand London Elise Lex? I'll pop that up there, it's one of my favourite patterns. Yes, it's brilliant for anything that calls for a medium to heavyweight um, structured fabric. So the Elise Lex is perfect, you can see you've got that fitted bodice and the stretch um, from the elastane will give you a nice bit of movement in the arms um, and across the bust and then the uh, structure of the fabric will hold that beautiful skirt shape really nicely. So which stretch cottons would be heavy enough for the sew over it ultimate trousers? So most stretch cottons that are medium weight will be heavy enough for um, the sew over it ultimate trousers. Also really good for the closet case file Sasha trousers. Um, just look for anything that says medium weight and you want something that has that two to three percent elastane that's really important if you make the or either of those pair of pairs of trousers out of a non-stretch fabric you will probably need to take a different seam allowance in a stretch cotton than you would in the woven fabric um, so again definitely based fit do i need to size down in a pattern when using a stretch cotton so as I said, just base fit, don't size down a whole size because you'll find that although it gives you a bit of wiggle room and a little bit of extra movement and give, it's probably not going to be a whole size or if it is not uniformly all over the place, it depends on how you move and, and um, I would make your usual size and then just check the fit before you sew it up. I've not yet sewn any kind of stretchy fabric, would this be a good fabric to start with? So this is a really good question because it's really important to remember that when we talk about stretchy fabrics we're often thinking of jerseys or knit fabrics and that stretch cotton is a woven fabric, it's not a jersey or a knit. And I know that it's confusing because sometimes we call jersey or knits stretchy fabrics. <laughs> Um, but remember I was talking earlier about the difference between mechanical stretch and um, the stretch that you get from a knitted fabric. This is mechanical, so it's a woven fabric. 
and that stretch cotton has around 10 to 20 percent stretch whereas a jersey has anywhere between sort of 30 to 50 percent stretch uh, however in answer to the original question if you've only ever worked with 100 percent cottons before stretch cotton is a really good fabric to try and work with um, at while you take your next step because you do get that little bit more movement and that little bit more give but it's not super slippery at all it's not drapey you're not trying to worry about things um, moving around too much and also it's not super stretchy like a jersey so it's a great next step up what are the best patterns to use stretch cotton with? So there are loads of them. I'm gonna pop some pictures up. Um, Gertie does some amazing vintage inspired patterns that look brilliant in pattern stretch cottons. So over it have got um, the Betty dress, which again has got that lovely fit and flare style. They've also got the ultimate trousers as we've talked about. Um, and then there's also the closet case Sasha trousers. There's also the Eleanor jeans by Jally Patterns, which are like a pull-on kind of jegging style. Sew up really nicely in a stretch cotton. Obviously got the Tilly and the Buttons Etta dress as well. So you're getting a theme. Anything that's kind of got a structured shape to it is quite fitted or you need it to hold that more sort of um, A-line shape. Um, works really, really well. So next person asks, last one I bought stretched only one way, so not ideal for t-shirts. What else can I use it for? So as per my previous answer, um, there's a difference between stretch cotton and a jersey and knit fabric. And for a t-shirt, you would want a jersey and knit fabric. If I show you, this is a cotton jersey. So this is 95% cotton, 5% spandex. And I'm gonna hold it here so you can see and look how much that stretches out. So that's because even though there's only a few more percentage of um, elastane in there, it is knitted so there's a lot of movement in the weave whereas this stretch cotton 97% cotton and 3% spandex so only 2% difference but you can see that's how much movement you get in it so hopefully that makes that um, easier to understand because I know it can be confusing especially when people call things by different names. Does it need pre-washing to avoid finished garments shrinking? So I would always recommend pre-washing. So stretch cotton doesn't shrink as much as some other fabrics like viscose but it's always better to just be on the safe side so that your me maids don't come out too small because there's nothing more infuriating spending all that time on sewing up something beautiful and then having it shrink in the wash. So yeah, pre-wash everything guys, it's just better to be on the safe side. If your pattern doesn't require it, should you make the fit a little snugger? So I'm assuming this means if your pattern doesn't require stretch. So you can, um, but again, I would just say err on the side of caution, base fit your seams, and then you can always transfer across your um, changes to your pattern if you know you're always going to make it out of stretch cotton. And the last question is, what is the highest stretch percentage I can get? So most of the time it's between 10 to 20%. So about 20% would kind of be the maximum without straining at the seams, um, but always worth checking because fabrics do vary. Sorry guys, the battery went on my camera and really frustratingly, I don't have a replacement <laughs> with me. Uh, but anyway, I hope you found that really useful. I um, really enjoy sharing um, all the things I've learned about fabrics. And um, I know that when you're learning or even if you just haven't used various different fabric types, it can be difficult to know what to use them for. So I hope that gives you some inspiration and I will do them on other fabrics, as I said. So just let me know what you would prefer down in the comments. And yeah, I hope you're all having a really, really good start to the month. We are doing hashtag so every day September on Instagram, which is a really great challenge where I'm trying to encourage everyone to sew for even just 10 minutes every day. And we've got loads of amazing prize sponsors. Um, so if you're on Instagram and you're not already following us, then do check out our um Instagram profile because you can see all the fun prompts and all the things that are going on over there and I'll link that down below too. 
Anyway, I'm gonna try and work out how to get this video and that video combined <laughs> and hope that I can edit it properly and I will see you again very soon. Take care guys, bye. Thank you.